there's always one word that leads into another and pastor's corner will lead into our moments of inspiration. She was trying to tell you that you got to trust in unbelieving and or unquestioning belief. A complete trust and confidence. All of this is considered your faith. Amen. So continuing on with pastors corner we'll go into our moments of inspiration of faith. Amen. Faith is, faith is the person stepping out into the unknown mm. obeying the commands of God. Amen. Faith keeps the man who keeps the faith. You will have no test of faith that will not fit you to be a blessing if you are obedient to the Lord. Hallelujah. Yes. Mm -hmm. Faith looks beyond the darkness of the earth to the brightness of heaven. Amen. By faith we are taken into Christ, made at once safe from the holy wrath against sin, and kept safe from all perils and penalties. Faith is something, faith is remembering, I am God's priceless treasure. Amen. When I feel utterly worthless. Mm. Mm. The world is more impressed by a demonstration of our faith than by a description. Oh, Jesus. Faith expects from God what is beyond our expectation. Amen. And to take with us this week to help us in our faith. True faith rests upon the character of God Amen. and as no further proof of the moral perfections of the one who cannot lie. Amen. It's enough. God has said it. Amen. James chapter 2 verse 26 tells us, For as the body without the spirit is dead, so faith without works is dead. Mm. Depending on man, you get what man can do. Oh, Depending on God, mm. you right. get what God can Jesus, do. Jesus. And he can do all things. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Faith is not always getting what we want, mm -hmm. but it will get what God wants us to have. Amen. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. Sound familiar? Oh, <laughs> Out of our lack of faith, we can create a series of problems in, in our life. Mm. This inevitably happens when we take over for God, mm. trying to make His promise come true through our efforts and not in line with His specific direction. Jesus. In this case, time is the greatest test of our willingness to let God work in our lives. Sometimes we simply have to wait. Amen. When we ask God for something and we have to wait, it's a temptation to take matters into our own hands and to interfere with God's plans. God's message hasn't changed since the Old Testament. People will be judged on their unproductive lives. Amen. God calls us to be active in our obedience yes. but don't live mm -mm. John as you were John compared people who claim they believe in God but they don't live for him to unproductive trees that are cut down just as a fruit tree is expected to bear fruit God's people should produce a crop of good deeds. Amen. 
God has no use for people who call themselves Christians but do nothing about it. Like many people in John's days who were God's people in name only. We, are, we have no value if we are Christians in name only. If others can't see our faith in the way we treat them, we may not be God's people at all. To be productive for God, we must obey his teaching, resist temptation, actively serve others and help others, and share our faith. How productive are you for God? Some people talk a lot about faith. But that's all it is. Talk. They may know all the right words to say. But their lies don't reflect God's power. Paul says that the kingdom of God is to be lived. Not just discussed. There is a big difference between knowing the right words. And living them out. Don't be content. To have all the right answers about Christ. Jesus. Let your life show that God's power is really working in you. Mm. Faith is always active. Yes. It commands the mind, the heart, and the body. Amen. Amen. Where's your faith? Mm. Can people see your faith? Mm. Do they know who you are by your actions? Jesus. Are you able to give a testimony of what God continues to do in your life? Not what he has done way back when. Yes. Faith is a continuous thing. Build on that faith and allow God to work in you. Amen? Amen. Amen. And now we'll be blessed with more, one more musical selection. And then we will have a word from our pastor. Pray that all hearts and minds are open to receive what thus saith the Lord this morning. 